What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about uh, VIP Shop Management and Carfax and how VIP Shop Management report to Carfax. Uh, this video is uh, very important because in the industry right now uh, things are changing. If your shop is not reporting to Carfax, it's becoming a problem. It's a, becoming a problem for the consumer uh, because when, when your shop is reporting to Carfax, it's automatically uh, all the records are being saved at Carfax. So for example, if I'm leasing a vehicle and I'm coming into your shop and you're doing all changes on it, it's reporting automatically. So now when I turn the vehicle back in, uh, the, the dealership, the first thing they do now is look up the service history. Uh, they, don't need the, they don't need paperwork like before. They just look up the service history, see if they, you were doing all changes on time. So this is becoming a problem. This is just the beginning of it. Uh, just be on, uh, be on top of it. And so you, and so you won't lose customers because if, I, if right now for my vehicle, if your shop doesn't report to Carfax, I cannot go to your shop. Uh, because uh, I'm not gonna keep up with the paperwork. I want it to be done automatically. So I'm gonna talk, explain in details how VIP shop management report to Carfax. The first thing, let's look up, uh, select the vehicle. And uh, I'm gonna select my own vehicle. So with VIP shop management, you can see the Carfax history. So we're gonna click on view Carfax history. And in this vehicle, you can see that, you know, on this date it was inspected. So that's what the dealership uh, sees. All change and filter. Um, it's going to be by date and the type of description. So how does VIP report this stuff? And some people are having a problem where it says uh, vehicle serviced only instead of saying like detail. Like in this, in this one, it says vehicle serviced. But in this one it says vehicle service entire rotated. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some tricks and tips on how to make it um, uh, says exactly what you did. So let's go back. So this is the parts and this is the labor. Uh, via, uh, VIP shop management will report this section. What I mean, if you have if you have all the stuff that own parts and all the stuff that own labor will be reported except the prices. The prices were not interested, uh, Carfax are not interested in the prices. Anything on, under uh, customer request, diagnosis, is not going to report. So Carfax basically reports the stuff the inside. But to be able to report, you got to have your VIN number. Uh, to get your VIN number, obviously, just type in the license plate and it's going to give you the information automatically. So. So you have the VIN number. So exactly. So that, that's what it reports. It reports the, the, the inside of the parts and the inside of the labor. Which one? All of them. So let me clear it and uh, give you a couple more examples. So let's say we're doing a starter on this vehicle. Let's say we're doing, um, what do I want to do? Uh, swaver links. Let's just, uh, let me see. Let's just do brakes. Let's keep it simple. Brake pads. Go to AutoZone. Brake pads. Let's say rear brake pads. And we're going to add the brake pads. And so we already got the parts. Now we need to add the labor. This is the new way of adding labor, which is we'll report to Carfax perfectly. The you old way, everybody used to say remove and replace. Forget about that. That's the old way. It don't work that way. Uh, most likely, Carfax cannot pick up the remove and replace. What will Carfax pick up is this. You say brake pads, the rear. Brake pads, I'm sorry, you, you can say actually, you can say uh, rear brake pads or I think the best way to do it is brake pads replaced and then say rear and that's the best way to do it. So what I'm trying to say here, you start with the description, what are you trying to do? Do not put remove and replace um, uh, first, like if I'm doing starter, starter, replace, that's how you do it start or replace so start with the description whatever you're doing that way it will report exactly to carfax 
So keep that in mind. Do not put like remove and replace. I'm gonna even take it out. Remove and replace. That's the old way. Just say replace. Keep it short, and that way it reports exactly to Carfax the you the way you want it to report. It doesn't report the same day. The way it reports, it reports the invoices, all the clo closed paid invoices. So any anything up here, it will not gonna report. All the closed paid paid invoices will be reported. Um, uh, and uh, so when it when does it report? It doesn't report the same day. It reports the second day. So meaning that if I if I came in here and I forget to add, make sure you add the mileage, and I paid this invoice, and I forget to add the mileage. It's not a problem, so you still have all day to come in here and, and say, you know what, I forgot to add the mileage, and I'm gonna add the mileage right now. Um, you gotta edit, sorry, edit the invoice. And I'm gonna add the mileage right now and click on close invoice. So you have 24 hours basically to edit whatever you wanna change, or even if the customer change your mind or you void, void it, you can do so. So that's how it reports, it reports uh, the day before every day it reports the day before so you have the whole day to change and edit whatever you want Make sure you add the mileage. It's really important um, uh, One more thing I want to talk about so yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta get start uh, working with the Carfax Make sure your shop is reporting to Carfax and do it the way I'm telling you everybody like it's still all the school uh, you want to come in here and say, uh, write an essay, what he did, just keep it simple. That's how it works. Start or replace 1.6 and, and, and add. If you have to explain, just put uh, C note 1 and uh, C note 1 and come in here under notes and type in where note 1 and describe, describe, uh, sorry. Note one and describe whatever you want to say. So keep it simple, keep it short. Uh, that's the new way. That's the search engine. The search engine of uh, Carfax cannot go through an essay and find what you did to the car. The search engine of uh, Carfax is only gonna see oh starter. He replaced the starter, and that's how that's how it puts it in. So keep that in mind. Start with the description. Whatever. Start with the item first, and then put next to it replaced. If it was just removed, just put removed next to it. If it was repaired, uh, just put repaired next to it. Uh, so that's how. That's how the best way to uh, report to Carfax, and that's how you can see it. Um, let me select myself again. That's how you can see it in details. And what I mean in details. That's how you can see it. This is Carfax. It's coming straight from Carfax. That's how you can see it in detail where it says tire rotated, oil and oil filter changed, and all that. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, I hope this explained a lot about Carfax. Um, it's really important. Yes, we are partner with Carfax. We've been partner with Carfax for over three years now. I love Carfax, by the way. I uh, appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.